Hi, people. Thanks so much for donating to the um, our Indiegogo fundraiser for our movie, The Enemies Within. I've been out on the road lately speaking in Florida and Illinois, just drumming up support for the movie. We are down to the last two days. Please chip in, give it our final burst to push us over the top. Every bit you can contribute is going to help. And as a little teaser, on the end of this message, we're going to have an exclusive look at my interview with security expert Peter Pry. It's pretty scary stuff. So thanks very much. Every bit helps. Hey, please Travis, contribute. Trevor, oh, we, we just got this in. Uh, this is uh, Rebecca from Virginia. Check this out. Handwritten check, the old-fashioned way from Rebecca in Virginia. Look, every bit helps. This warms my heart. And look. Please keep them coming in. You know, as she says, you know, love you guys. And uh, it's great to get that appreciation. And it's great to get this product in front of you so much quicker. Thanks very much. Oh, we're signing arms control treaties and coming up with agreements and understandings with the Russians and the Chinese. But they come from societies where they actually have constitutions, but the constitutions aren't worth the paper they're written on. And they do live in political environments where their political adversaries will assassinate them if they're not very, very careful, or they have assassinated their political opponents. They have come from societies where they're in power, not because of the law and respect for law, but because they use military might to keep themselves there. Our personalities like this, who have had to kill their way to the top, who kill to stay on top and use the threat of military force against their own populations to keep them down, are they likely to look at us and say, well, the United States is I can't imagine that they would ever be a threat to me, and therefore I can safely sign this treaty, and yes, I'll operate in good faith because they're good guys and we all want to do business together. It's just absurd. That is a mistake that the Western democracy have made over and over again. Yeah. We made it with Hitler. We're making the mistake again with China, Russia, North Korea, Iran. But World War II, as bad as it was, will be nothing like World War Three could be. You know, World War Three would could just about annihilate the human race. Yeah, that's right. And it could be done by a handful of people. We know that through the Cold War and today, the Soviets in the Cold War went through great lengths and were very successful in penetrating the most protected parts of our society. It's our civilian critical infrastructures. Right. It's the NERC. It's our electric utilities. It's the people who run the telephone company, the water systems. In fact, we found that there was a, a, a person working for the Weather Service who was, a, who was a, a, an agent working for communist China. You know, why would the co Chinese communists be present? I think that should be taken as a warning sign that it may be that the, that the, the civilian critical infrastructures that we're counting on to, to support the American people and that are critical to the functioning of our society, they may already be deeply penetrated by foreign agents. Do we actually have bad actors who have penetrated our system and are basically making decisions the way Iran and North Korea and China and Russia would like us to make decisions? So basically Trojan horses inside the infrastructure. Yeah, exactly. An insider threat.